The movements of hemiblismus involve the arm and leg on one side and are usually contorting and continuous and of a rotatory nature. Hemiblismus also merges with hemichorea. The abnormal and voluntary movements of hemiblismus usually come about as a result of a CVA. The lesion usually involves the subthalamic nucleus or corpus luisi, but can also involve the globus pallidus or the connections between the globus pallidus and the subthalamic nucleus. Here we have a patient with relatively continuous, severe, contorting movements of his right side involving the arm, not quite as much as they do the leg. We see the continuing rotatory movements of his right leg. 